One of my favorite things about my library is the time that it saves me in class. I can use the search feature, which keeps me from getting lost in class because I won't be frantically searching through the hard copy of the book and getting lost in lecture. Another beneficial feature is the highlight feature. I can copy and paste content onto a real-time study guide that I can use for later. And it keeps me from having to remember content and putting together a pen and paper study guide. So this is actually done while I'm in class. And by the time lecture is over, I'm halfway done with a study guide that I can start using. One time I was at the doctor's office and I had my netbook. I was able to open it up and everything I needed was right there. I can always uh, call up, I can, <laughs> I can cut and paste things from, um, and do my like study guides while I'm at the, at, at the doctor's office. I don't have to worry about waiting, like how much time, I'm not a patient person. So I don't like waiting in the uh, waiting area, but I'm pleasant now. <laughs> Let's take a look at how to use PageBurst on VitalSource and get the most out of your digital books. First, get started by redeeming your access code at evolve.elsevier.com redeem. After you've completed the registration process, you can access your PageBurst content online in the content list of your My Evolve page. Once you open PageBurst on Evolve, you can also now install the desktop reader for PC or Mac to get the most out of your PageBurst experience. You also have the option to sync up your account with your mobile device using the free VitalSource Bookshelf app for Apple iOS, Android smartphones and tablets, and Kindle Fire. Remember, before you can install any of the apps, you will be asked to log in with the email address and password you used to set up your account. Let's take a look inside the desktop application since it has the most features. To open the program after it's been downloaded, double click on the PageBurst icon on your desktop. From there, you'll be able to download the individual books you're using and access them in your bookshelf. This is your main bookshelf where you'll be able to search all your books at one time, create highlighters and individual folders for your classes, and set up your note sharing preferences with other users. Most students agree that being able to search all your books at one time makes studying and preparing for class a lot easier. For example, why search through all of your books on the floor when you are care planning when you can just type a few words into your PageBurst bookshelf? Searching lets you pinpoint exactly what you want to study and pulls material from one book or from every book in your PageBurst library. You can search across just one book or across your entire library. Let's take a look at how searching works. Say you're studying diabetes. If you want to see the results from all your books, type diabetes into the search box and hit enter. This will pull up every instance of the search term in every book you've downloaded, and it will tell you how many times the term appears in each book. You can preview the search results by clicking once on any book and reviewing the abbreviated results in the Inside the Book panel on the right. You can narrow your search results by searching within a specific folder or by clicking the arrow next to the search bar to perform an advanced search. To search within an individual title, simply open the book and enter the term into the search bar. By clicking on the entry you would like to view, all instances of your search word will be highlighted on the page. If you come across words or phrases you don't understand, right-clicking allows you to search through any reference books you may have in your library, like a medical dictionary or drug guide. PageBurst also allows you to highlight parts of the text you would like to review later. Choose your color code at the top of the screen, select the Highlight button, and the text is highlighted. For example, yellow highlights can indicate information you need to know for a test. Blue can be important information for class preparation, and green can be instructor notes. You can also add notes, which is a great way to keep track of your own questions and observations in the text. When you close out of the note, an icon will appear at the top of the page to remind you the note is there. You can review all your notes and highlights in a book by clicking the Notes tab. Selecting any of the entries in this tab will automatically take you to the location in the book where the note or highlight was made. By default, your highlights are organized according to the order they appear in the book, but you have the option to right-click your highlights and sort them by color, type, or the date they were added. 
To create a personalized study guide, you can copy and paste text or images from your book. You can also export all your notes and highlights by selecting everything in the Notes tab, right-clicking, and choosing Export Selected Notes and Highlights. This function will generate a Word document containing all your color-coded notes and highlights that you can add to, print, and customize any way you'd like. While the desktop application of PageBurst has the most features, the online and mobile versions give you the flexibility to access your library anywhere you go. Both the online and mobile options allow you to read and search your books, as well as look at figures and manage your notes and highlights. The online version is available at evolve.elsevier.com with your Evolve login, and it's accessed from the My Evolve page in your content list. This version is available from any computer with an internet connection, so it's easy to use in a school's computer lab or library at your clinical site. Links to download the mobile versions of PageBurst are available in the online version of Evolve, but you can also find them in your app stores by searching for Vital Source. The Bookshelf application is free, and once it's been downloaded to your mobile device and opened for the first time, you'll be prompted to log in with your PageBurst on Vital Source account information, your email and password. To add books from your library to your mobile device, you can download them in the app when you're connected to Wi-Fi. For more information about using PageBurst, visit evolve.elsevier.com.